Hey, what's up, everybody? So in today's video, I want to talk about eight simple tips and tricks for better editing. Now, a couple weeks back, I made a video about improving your editing speed using keyboard shortcuts. So keyboard shortcuts are not the topic of today's video. Instead, this video is more of a better editing experience kind of video. But first, if you're new to this channel, my name is Sebastian and I make weekly videos on DaVinci Resolve to ultimately get you a better understanding of how Resolve works. So if you're interested in that topic, please make sure to subscribe to not miss out on any upcoming content in the future. So now tip number one is to edit and export your video in 4K even though you might have shot it in 1080p because this will just preserve more detail after exporting and uploading plus if you add any graphics like text or something those will be in 4K even though the footage isn't. And as a fact this video right here and the vast majority of my videos are shot in 1080p. But if you still want to record your video in 4K, that is totally fine. Step number four and five might come in handy for you. Now coming to the second tip, and that is to make your footage broadcast safe. Some of you might have noticed that after exporting, Resolve is destroying the colors. So all you got to do to hinder Resolve from doing that is to go to your project settings, go to color management and scroll all the way down to where it says make broadcast safe and check this box. You can leave the rest of the settings at default and doing that will hinder Resolve from implementing this dreaded gamma shift after exporting your video. Now the third tip is kind of personal preference but you might just try it out anyways. But now I'm telling you to edit your video in 18 by 9 or 2 by 1. So if you're edit in 4K, you will normally edit in 3840 by 2160. But now just try to edit in 18 by 9 or 3840 by 1920. And this is just due to the fact that the vast majority of new phones, new tablets or new laptops are using an 18 by 9 aspect ratio. So if you watch a video on one of those devices, you will notice black bars on the left side and on the right side of the screen. And that is due to the fact that you didn't edit in 18 by 9. So if you edit in 18 by 9, all you do is just basically future proofing your content. And that is always a great idea. Now I already said this, tip number four might come in handy for those of you who are recording their videos in 4k. And that is using proxies. Now proxies come in handy when your computer can't handle those large file sizes to ultimately get you a better playback uh, whilst editing. And don't be scared to use proxies because when you export your video, Resolve will not export the proxies, Resolve will just export the actual footage. So don't be scared to use proxies whilst editing. And now this next tip. Tip number five will also come in handy if you still have trouble playing back your footage. Some of you might have noticed when they do a lot of color grading, specifically noise reduction or heavy VFX, it's kind of hard to play this back on most computers. Some of you might have noticed on the edit page, in the top right corner of your viewer, there is kind of magic wand. Now, if you turn off the magic wand, DaVinci Resolve will hide all the color grading and all the VFX done to your clips, which will result in a way better playback because DaVinci doesn't have to process the noise reduction and all the VFX. So if you have trouble playing back your clips, try to use this magic one and turn it off. So whilst editing, you will have a much more smooth playback. Now the next tip is some of you might want to use uh, cinema scopes or letterboxes or cinematic black bars, whatever you want to call it. Those are just the tiny little black bars on top and on the bottom of your screen. And whenever you want to add them, don't ever crop your actual footage. Always use an adjustment layer, put the adjustment layer on top of your footage and crop the adjustment layer. And by doing it this way, you will have more freedom to reposition and reframe your shot than by just cropping your shot. So keep that in mind when you want to add those, always add them on an adjustment layer. Now coming into tip number seven, this is use the spline window for animations. Whenever you're doing animations like titles flying in, make the animations go smooth by using the spline window. 
Now you can right click on the linear curve and resolve will just give you some default animations for smooth movement. This comes in handy when you want to do multiple animations that should have the exact same movement or curve so you don't have to create the exact same curves manually. Now speaking of motion graphics and animations in general, try to use motion blur. This will ultimately result in a more natural viewing experience. And now coming into the last tip and that is to set your bitrate manually when you export your video. And that is due to the fact that the default bitrate at which Resolve is exporting your video is pretty low. And when you upload it, for example, to YouTube or Vimeo, the file will be compressed even more. Now, just go ahead and set the bitrate between 80K and 100K. So the final result will just look way better. So guys, that is all I got for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and maybe even got some value out of it. If so, please consider leaving a like and if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing to not miss out on any upcoming content in the future. But for now, with that being said, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!